Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Levenston. Today we're talking about fear. Isn't that a fun topic that everyone's so excited to talk about? But I'm going to be giving you some really great, important, and useful, I think, tips on how we can manage our fear so that we are coming from a solid place, a place of deep knowing, of being guided by our inner wisdom, rather than frantically running around trying to figure things out in the moment from a fearful place. So that is not how we want to be operating from when we are in fear. We don't have control over the external. We don't have control over what is going on around us, what other people say or don't say or do or don't do, what natural forces are created or happening around us. And this is the perfect timing to talk about this because my fellow South Florida residents and myself recently experienced a lot of fear around Hurricane Matthew. We, some of us were told to evacuate and some of us were told to put all sorts of measures in place, our hurricane shutters and get food and water and supplies and batten down the hatches because this was a big hurricane that was coming through. And we saw the damage that was done in Haiti and other areas. Um, we pray for those people and we send um, support and assistance to them. And we were afraid. We were definitely in fear. I did not speak with or see anybody in my community that didn't feel some level of fear of the unknown. And this is where fear comes into play the strongest is when we don't know we don't have control over the external. We only ever have control and dominion over our internal landscape. And that can be a very empowering knowledge to have because many of us spend a lot of time and energy trying to control what's going on around us when really we can't, it's not possible. We can only control what's going on within us. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. How can you center yourself, ground yourself, really come from a very settled, peaceful place, the place that is the only place where decisions, good decisions can be made, where you can have the knowing that you are really deeply connected to that inner voice, to that wise self that is your essence. So I'm going to talk to you about a practice that I use um, that you've probably heard of before. This is not necessarily new information. It's coming from many different sources, my readings, as well as my own daily moment-to-moment -moment practice and I think it may be beneficial to you. So give it a try, do an experiment. See if it's something that helps and supports you when you are in that place of feeling fear and feeling the disconnect that we immediately go to. Fear is, is from the mind. Um, it's created from our thoughts, from our past experiences, from our worries. We are able to create the outcome of things as we think about it, we give it our worst case scenario and we start to notice that we are having the experience of that worst case scenario when the situation itself may not be at all a worst case scenario. So here's what I do and this is the practice that I use. I find a comfortable place to sit, get situated. You can use a chair, you can be on a couch. I do recommend that you are upright because it's a grounding practice and it helps to be seated. But if you're laying down, that's fine. Just don't fall asleep. So find a comfortable chair to sit in. And I start by taking three deep grounding breaths. I usually close my eyes to do this, but you can do what's comfortable for you. I close my eyes because it limits the sensory input. I'm not visually connecting with anything. It allows me to go very internal for this. So three deep grounding breaths with my eyes closed. Okay. 
and now, either with your eyes closed or open, I want you to imagine that beginning at your torso, around your rib cage, you are a tree, a trunk, very strong trunk of a tree that extends all the way down your torso, all the way through your legs, beyond your feet, right into the core of the earth, through all the layers of the earth to the very core of the earth. Now I imagine the earth's core to be a beautiful amethyst, but you can imagine it to be any color that you want. You could imagine it to be rock or stone. You could imagine it to be any shape that you want. Allow your imagination to create that grounding place where your tree trunk's roots are going to wrap around that earth's core, wrap around the center, and really deeply, deeply connect you. So that you are feeling grounded a very steady and grounded part of the earth. When we are grounded, we are able to make wise choices and wise decisions. When we are grounded, we are able to interpret and know things at a very truthful level. Our energy is settled which enables us to be very present in the moment. And it is only in the present moment that we can connect to who we are, to what we are here to do, and to what this moment in time requires of us. Perhaps you're looking to make a big decision in your life, a big change potentially and you have many options, many choices, or maybe just a few, and you're not sure which one feels like the right one to make. This is a very good practice to get grounded, breathe deeply, imagine the roots of your tree connecting you deeply to the earth. Breathe slowly and with intention, and let, let yourself, allow yourself, to be only present for that moment, for that question in that moment, and ask to receive from that centered place what is in your best interest. Grounding connects you to your strength. It connects you to your wisdom. It connects you to your courage. And those are three elements that we want when we are operating at a high level, when we are making choices that have an impact on ourselves or others, when we are in the present moment. When I come out of my grounding practice, I say a prayer of gratitude for that moment of reminder that I am a very steady presence that I am a very strong and courageous and powerful energy, that I have the skills and the tools necessary to operate from that place, even though I may stray from it at times, even though I, in human form, am just as susceptible to feeling fear and worry and anxiety as anybody else. This is a tool that can bring me back to the power of the present moment. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you have practiced this, if you've given it a try, how it's worked for you. I would love to hear about it.